Hello friends, I'm Sunish from Team Must and in this video I'm going to discuss a trick on the topic Direction Sense Test. Now, before starting up with this video, let me assure you about the fact that after watching this video, you're going to get the answer correct always and always. That's the possibility of your of getting the wrong answer is about zero. Um, true with this thing. Uh, you're going to see this after watching this video. So, let's start with this trick. What's the trick? And okay, before that, let me quickly introduce you with the directions. Uh, what basically are the directions? Suppose this is the place from where you are starting. Now, when I move towards upward, this is the north direction. Downward, it's the south. Towards left, it's right. I mean, it's east, and this one is west. Now, this one is northeast. This one is southeast. This one is southwest, and the final one being northwest. Okay, so this is all about the directions. Now, getting further into the topic, basically, there are two types of questions generally asked in this direction sense test. Type one being when you are given the directions, I mean, James was moving towards north, then he turned towards east, then towards west. I mean the questions do, dealing with the directions with north, east, south, west, something like that. Okay. Uh, then comes the type 2 which generally deals with the directions. Uh, he turned left, then he turned right, then again left, left, right, something like that. Only the directions were dealing with the, the questions dealing with the direction mean left, right and something like that. Okay. These are the basically two types of questions. Uh, and third type is generally the hybrid of these questions that James was moving towards north, then he turned left, then again he was to moving towards east and then right and something like that. The hybrid of the type 1 and type 2. Basically these are the three types I must say. So let's start with the type 1. Now let's just discuss each type with their examples. So this question basically is of type 1 which deals with the direction north, south, east, west as you can see and let's start with the question the question says this James walks 10 kilometers towards north suppose this was the point from where he started now he walks 10 kilometers towards north okay he walks 10 kilometers towards north from there from there he walks 6 kilometers towards south okay from there onwards he walks 6 kilometers towards south okay now he's moving 6 kilometers towards south then he walks 3 kilometers towards east as I said east is towards your right so he walks 3 kilometers down there uh, now this seems somewhat correct 3 kilometers towards east now how far and in which direction is he with reference to his starting point now I see that this this distance this one distance is 3 and he moved down towards 6 kilometers and that means this distance this one is 4 and this is a difference he is apart from his uh, house so that would be just the hypotenuse of this because 4 and 3 it could be 5 and now he asked us in how far that is 5 kilometers 5 kilometers and in which direction is he with reference to now we have to tell the direction as well and before the video start of the, uh, before this question I discussed about the direction that if you move towards this direction this is north east how come it's north east you have to keep in mind the reference the reference the, here the reference is the starting point that's from here if he starts moving from here then with this direction with this reference I have to move towards this way so that comes out to be direction of north east so our comes, answer comes out to be 5 kilometers towards north east that's it now the thing which you just have to keep in your mind while doing these type of questions uh, when you are dealing with the directions where, with north, south, east, west that the relative point with which you change directions is your the starting point. What I mean to say is suppose I was moving towards north okay I was moving towards north uh, and this was the point from where I started now I want to move towards east east is with respect to this point from where I started okay this is the east direction okay now I'm moving towards south okay with 
respect to this point, the south is this way. So I move towards south. Now I move towards west with this point. With this point, again this one point, the west direction is this way. So I move towards this way. So the key knot which you have to keep in your mind is when you are dealing with the di directions like north, south, east, west, you just have to keep your reference point as this point from where you started. With re you have to measure with respect to this point. Okay. I think that that would be more clear when I discuss the type 2 and compare them. Okay, let's jump to the type 2 then. Now you can see that this this question deals with the direction right, left, left, right and something like that. So let's start with the question. Uh, Rocky walked 25 meters towards south. Okay, this is the point from where I started. Now he moved 25 kilometers towards south. Okay, 25 kilometers towards south. Then he turned to his left. Now, the key point is, in these type of questions, this uh, type 2 questions, what you have to do is, you have to mark the relative point from where you were seen last. I mean, this is the position where Rocky is at present. That's the last position of his. So, you have to see with respect to this position, where you have to turn. Now, he says that he turned towards his left. Now, with this point, he is turning towards left. So, what I basically do is, turn my iPad or my iPad or my notebook screen up, upwards down and see that this arrow comes on top. Okay. Or you can basically do this. This is the arrow. You turn it to the, towards the direction such that it is on the top. Okay. Now you see, you have to turn towards its left. Left is this way. This way. And this is 20 kilometers. I'll mark the arrow. Now, now what he says is, then he turned to his left and walked 25 meters. Now, again, I just rotate my iPad screen, or you can just rotate your notebook screens, notebook uh, towards the point such that the arrow is on the top. This is on the top. Yeah. Now you see the left direction. Now he turns. Now what he says is, he turns towards his left and walked 25 kilometers, 25 meters. Now towards his left would be this way. Now this is towards his left, and he walks 25 meters again. Now again this arrow points this way, and I rotate my screen such that the arrow points in the direction of, I mean, it points towards top. Now again what I what the question says is he again turned to his right. Now while the arrow is in top, my right direction would be this way and walked 15 kilo 15 meters. So this is 15 meters, okay. Then at what distance is he from the starting point? You can clearly see that this was the 25 kilometers and this is again 25 meters and this plus this distance is the answer. That's 20 plus 15, 20 plus 15, that's 35 meters. The answer is 35 meters. And now, if they would have asked you the direction, it would be towards east, as this is my reference point. I'm moving towards this way, so this is 35 meters towards east. That's it. I think you got this. Now, hope you get the difference between the type 1 and type 2. Okay, let me just brief you again what I said was in case of type 1, type 1 you just have to take the reference as a uh, as a point from where to be the point from where you just started uh, type 1 was basically when we were dealing with the directions north, south, east, west I will see with respect to this point from where I started I to move towards north then I move towards east then south with respect to this point only this is type 1 type 1 and in case of type 2, when we are dealing with the direction that I turn towards left, then right, then again right, the left, what we have to do is, we have to mark the reference point as, uh, that's the relative point from where, uh, from where we have to change direction to be, suppose I am moving, uh, I was started, uh, started moving towards north, then I turned left, as the, now I have to mark the reference point as, the place where I am at present, not this point, not this point, but the point where I am at present, now I am turning towards my right, so I will move this way. The thing you should do is, uh, while practicing this question, uh, type 2 question is, you should mark the arrows and see, uh, 
see this arrow comes just point towards the top so you can just easily conclude that this is left this is right and there. so without any confusion all now again if i say that now he turns towards right right now what i would do is i would just rotate my screen upside down so that the arrow just points towards top now it's pointing towards top now if i have to move left then i would go this direction if i have to move right then this way so this was it basically the relative point is the position where you were at last that's it that's the main thing about this thing uh, let me discuss a uh, third question which would be the hybrid of this thing which would just clear all the confusion left out so let's start clearly you can see that uh, this thing that this question deals with both type of direction that's west uh, east left right and all so this is the hybrid of the previous discussed types so let's start with the question smith went 15 kilometers to the west from his house suppose this was the point from he where he started now 15 kilometers to the west west is this way again when i'm dealing with the type 1 i have to mark the reference point as the point from where i started so this is where i start so 15 kilometers towards west then turned left now turning left this won't be this this point won't be my uh, relative position but this arrow would just tell me the relative position then turn left so what i would do is just rotate my screen upwards down so that the arrow points on the top and now left of this direction would be this way this way and walk 20 kilometers so this is 20 kilometers 20 kilometers and don't forget to mark the arrow it would just help you getting the right answer then he turned to turned east now from this way if i see the arrow it would just tell me east to be this direction uh, the opposite direction but i have to see the reference point from where he started in case of type 1 so east would be this way and walked 25 kilometers 25 kilometers okay he's moving 25 kilometers and finally turning left now this comes the type 2 so i would just rotate my screen upward down so that the arrow points on the top just seems me to be on the top and so now turning left left would be this way and covered 20 kilometers is it yes 20 kilometers don't forget to mark the arrow 20 kilometers and how far was he from his house as simple as that this is 15 and this left distance is the distance he is far away from his house so this would be 10 as simple as that hope you got my point and all your confusion is just gone so this was it for this video i hope you really like this video do subscribe to our channel team us as a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking